went to the <coughs> supermarket today. Everything I bought in the supermarket was increased by 10 to 15 percent. And if you uh, look up trying to find out why things are so expensive in the supermarket, they tell you, oh, the supply chain is broken, uh, uh, you can't get the goods in, therefore they raise the prices. <clears throat> That's the excuse for raising the price on everything you eat in the grocery store by 10 to 15 percent. Okay, then I went and bought a bottle of wine in the grocery store. That's where I buy my wine in the grocery store. The price of the wine was exactly the same price it was 10 years ago. Oh, well, wait a minute. Come on, this should be affected by the supply chain. Uh, they got to uh, pay more to the grape pickers. The ingredients used in the uh, creation of wine, sugars or whatever, they got to cost more. The trucking, delivery, has got to cost more, just like all the other groceries. What's going on here? Why are they selling wine at the same price of 10 years ago? Well, here's the difference. Not everybody buys wine in the grocery store, in the supermarket. But everybody buys their food in the supermarket. So you get this massive amount of people buying groceries. Well, what's the natural thing to do when you got all these people stuck buying groceries in the grocery store? You gouge them. No, the wine's got the same uh, logistics problem as every grocery item in the store. But they gouge you on the necessities of life. The non-necessities, like the wine, they leave it alone. So it's not, it's not the infrastructure problem. It's a gouging problem. They see a huge profit available in gouging the average food shopper.